such a beautiful experience. But it was also that time frame was also when um, meeting Megan Marr and being able to teach that first class that started our whole community, which is so exciting. So um, the midwives came to my house because I thought I was going to the hospital. I was all packed. Everything was written in the truck, ready to go. And the first midwife arrived and she said, you're not going anywhere. This baby's coming now. And I had no idea. It was my first baby. I didn't know that it was coming so fast. And um, we were following the gentle babies protocol to a T. And that was how beautiful the experience was. Not only that, but so then they had to call the second midwife to come like in seven minutes because the baby was coming. So um, they, when they, the second one arrived, they both said they had never been to a birth like this before. They had never been to an experience like that. And there was spa music playing, there was a diffuser going, like it was so lovely. And they both purchased kits. And so fast forward, um, so my twin birth, beautiful experience, um, very different, um, beautiful in the hospital, amazing. And I won't go into it because we're gonna hear from other people too. So I, I wanna make sure that I'm saving time for other people's experiences too. Um, so then fast forward to now. So I have my twins that are almost three. So last year in April, I just had this feeling because many of us have had the fortunate experience of either the birth at home with oils or we've been able to go to the hospital with oils. And for Danielle, it's a great example on the, on the call tonight where there was a lot of us to support you. And I was just one person to oil. Um, and in my labor, there was my mother-in-law and there was um, Griffin and my good friend Marley, who's also a chiropractor, which I'll bring that science part into it in a little bit as well. But, um, and so I reached out to my midwife and I just said like, how is it gonna be for moms now this year? So April, 2020, how is it going to look for people and what can I do to help? And she said, just keep sharing oils with families because the more support that they can have through the medical system um, or through staying at home, um, whatever it, however we can support the mama and the babies coming, let's do it. And so it was just a really, it was a great message to hear. And um, it just confirmed that it makes such a difference. No matter what the setting is, no matter what the circumstances, there can be comfort. And that was my experience was the nurses kind of were like, thank you, thank you for doing this. Cause I was being looked after with the oils and, and it gave Griffin something to do or it gave whoever was supporting me something to do at the, in that moment that they could focus on the twins coming or they could focus on the baby or the monitor. Um, so I just think it's such a gift for the medical system and for our families. Um, Nicole, you had a great question about the first step, the like, okay, but how do we get pregnant? Um, and PPP is an oil, is, is a good first step. And um, definitely for, that is where I would start, but also our class in two weeks, because we're doing this weekly, um, our class in two weeks is the hormone one. And I think that would be a really good one for balancing and for just looking at all of those things. Um, also part of my story was that we did struggle with um, fertility. So I wish I knew this 15 years ago, but that's okay. I, um, it definitely helped and it has helped now um, since having kids. So if anyone is, thinking of, you know, either how to have a regular cycle or getting to the stage of life where a cycle might be leaving, how to support your hormone system. Definitely PPP is, is that um, tool. And, um, you know, if you're thinking of a grandma in your life or, you know, we just have these people in our lives that we think about, definitely PPP is like one of the top sellers on my team, I would say for sure. Um, okay, so I kind of talked about the beginning of my story, um, some remarkable things that were witnessed in the medical system and the support that I had. Um, I want to just talk quickly before I pass the baton on to another mom would be um, my like 
worst case scenario or like the must haves that I would suggest for going for home or for hospital. Um, so I like to encourage people to be prepared, especially right now where it's harder to get things brought in and out. Like it's not as much of a like, oh yeah, I'll just go home and grab that. Like once you're at the hospital, it might be one person supporting you and it might be hard to kind of come and go. So I like to kind of suggest people be quite prepared with um, some of these goodies. So um, you'll probably hear about it before we go too much further um, as people talk, but definitely Clariderm spray and you'll hear people's testimonies about that. But Clariderm spray is a great support to prepare the body, um, perineum prepare, but also healing afterwards for mama. So I would definitely have that packed and ready to go and using it prior. It also is um, like once babies are done, it's still something that's always with us in our um, beach bag or in our house as like our kid care for um, bites. So it's always handy if something happens at our house. So it's Clariderm spray. Uh, Ning Charette, so the packets or the bottle, <laughs> I had the packets packed for the hospital and I had people delivering me bottles <laughs> within a couple days because with the twins, I was there for a couple days. Um, but this was so beneficial through pregnancy, but then through the labor, um, just energy, you can't really be eating some, anything. So this is what I was having with like ice and water and just kept me nourished and going. Um, and then Ning Shared, with our twins, as an example, we were on a three hour feeding cycle of feeding them every three hours um, as they were just new newborn babies. And, um, and that lasted for a really long time. So um, Griffin would make us Ningxia spritzers every three hours when he would get up and I would start feeding. So this is life as a new mom, for sure. Um, energy, just kind of clarity, um, antioxidant, full of nutrients, so, so good. The um, other thing is this little um, travel bag, the Bon Voyage bag with um, conditioner, shampoo, hand sanitizer, lotion, like it kind of is everything you need to pack for going to the hospital anyway, if anyone was having a surgery or just when we get to travel, have your bon voyage, have your dream ready of where you're going to travel when we get to travel and have that bag ready for you. Um, it has so many great things in it and oh yeah, that's true. Um, Emily said she had blocked ducks and Ningxia was a great drink to, yes, totally. It is, there are so many times where Ningxia has just regulated me, like whatever the situation was, just to be able to get back on track. Um, an example, two weeks ago, I went to Ontario and I um, was visiting my mom in a, like a long-term care home. And I couldn't eat or drink while I was there, but I was trying to visit her for as long as I could. So I tried to stay in for six hours. And so um, Ningxia, like having this to like, kind of fuel me before I went in. And then afterwards, because, um, and there was twice I was able to like sneak the bottle in to drink um, my water bottle, but for five of the days, I was not allowed to even take in a water bottle. So having Ningxia ready in the car was, was great just to, get me back to normal. Um, okay, so I think I'll stop there for a second and we'll pass the baton um, to the next, to the, I think, Danielle, if you would like to go next, that would be perfect. Sounds good. Hello, everyone. Um, so yeah, I, um, I have my little gentle babies book here too and um I just I feel so grateful for all the Young Living products that I've been able to have for my family and um yeah I have three daughters um so my first um delivery with my oldest um was along and ended up in emergency c-section um so when I was pregnant with my second baby, I was ready to pretty much try whatever um, I could have a V back, so like a natural vaginal delivery. Um, and so, yeah, and came into um, help in the room along with 
a lot of family members. So at that time, that was pretty special. Um, the I yeah, it was just such an amazing experience. Like um, I just yeah, I just feel so grateful. We had like diff the diffuser in the room going. Every nurse um, and our, my midwife that came in was just always saying like the room smelled so good. Um, and it really did make like I, I gave birth in a hospital, and so it felt like a little bit of home and comfort. Um, so I mean, just that was such a positive. I know I had like um, our prepared cloth that um, we had either uh, peppermint or lavender. And so we just uh, throw them on and I just say whatever one I wanted and, and had a roller ball of the roller blend or the labor blend, sorry, that um, was in the gentle baby's book and um, things like weren't kind of had slowed down at one point. And then when Anne had rolled um, the labor blend on my ankles at one point, um, the nurse could see on the like little machines, she's like, keep doing that, like encourage whatever's, whatever you're doing, keep doing it. So it ended up um, that I yeah got to give birth vaginally and it was just, and uh, little Tessa was anointed with some frankincense and, I mean, she's, yeah, it was just really a positive, beautiful experience. Um, and, and then obviously with the third um, baby, I wanted it to be as wonderful and great as um, with my second. And at that point, Anne was very pregnant with her twins. <laughs> so I had to get a new little um, oily helper and um, it ended up being my sister-in-law, but it was so great before we did like a little prep, like a prep class of like what she was going to do. So being prepared is definitely good. Um, and same kind of my delivery ended up being under two hours. Um, uh, no like drug free and just using the essential oils um, just was so positive like I yeah I can't even I just feel so grateful um, and so I was my sister recently like I guess a year and a bit ago um, gave birth to her first and I was just so excited to be her oily helper and it ended up that she had um she went into labor two weeks early and I hadn't prepared well enough so I didn't have the, my labor blend ready and it was in the middle of the night when so I didn't grab have all my oils in a bag and so I feel like I kind of let myself down and let her down because her oily experience um it just it didn't it wasn't as wonderful like we didn't set up the diffuser because I was too nervous so I feel like I was if I I was to, to like, hopefully she'll have another baby, <laughs> but just being prepared um, and maybe like more assertive in the hospital. So she gave birth in Nanaimo and I was in Duncan. So um, yeah, just making sure um, to be prepared. <laughs> Definitely that's um, something that I would do next time differently. Um, yeah, so I just, I have, oh yeah, I was just gonna show like my Clarinet, Anna and I, we figured out um, at a- um, Rock concert. Or, yeah, a rock concert that Clarinet works really well on bee stings. So we got a bee sting and it instantly went away. Um, so this, these are just a few of my favorite baby or like kid things. I am a huge um, fan of the diaper rash cream. So. If, we use it on like we have eczema in our family. And so it's one of the only things um, we found that works for my husband's and my five-year-old's eczema. Um, I use it for <laughs> my under my eyes um, when I'm putting makeup on. Um, we like scrapes, you know, just that extra kind of like a little thickening. Um, so yeah, just one of my favorites. Um, our kid, my kids are really big fans of the Kids Sense, um, the citrus toothpaste. So I love it as well. Um, just the taste is so great. Um, I don't know, I'm sure most my, I think it's always been my favorite, but lavender for all things like sleep, scrapes, like little owies, um, headaches. Yeah, so just, I feel like this is my, all-time favorite lavender. 
And then we also in our home um, use peace and calming, if you can see that, um, as just kind of um, when emotions are running high, we have like my oldest who's seven has a really hard time around new moons. Um, so it's often, often like what we diffuse and she has like a couple roller balls and sometimes a little um, jewel that she wears to school to make sure that she's kind of grounded and yeah so yeah I just feel so great for Young Living and to have a community like this and products that are chemical free um, so yeah raising my family and feeling proud of um, all the things that I'm putting on them so yeah thanks for showing and introducing them to me Anne. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Danielle. I just love your story and um, and I share it like pretty much every class. So I'm glad you're here to, yes. <laughs> for people to hear it. Um, and the, um, Gwendolyn, I'm gonna call upon you soon, but I just wanted to, um, yeah, just, I think that once you have an option for some healthy items in your pregnancy, and then you have this fabulous calm birth, it gives you so much more confidence to be using oils with your children and with your family and just to see the difference. And that was so noticeable within like our hospital room was how it was impacting the medical staff. Like there's a, all these unintended consequences of how it calms down a room of other people like it, you're doing it for one purpose but it actually has this ripple effect for your family and for the medical staff and it's such an intense experience and to be able to impact others through it is so remarkable um one other thing i'll just mention is in our oil up group if you ever searched recipes for all the options that we do you know, as mamas. So the book that I started off with the very beginning was Chemical Free Home. And in there, um, there's a couple different uh, versions of the book, but there's a baby's version where that's where like I learned my bug spray recipe. That's where I learned the um, wipes, like how I made wipes. And I still, seven years later, that's what I, all I use for wipes. I've never bought wipes. Um, and if I ever did, which I think were twice, like while traveling, that's when I needed the diaper cream. <laughs> but making my own wipes means that I don't have to use diaper cream as much, right? So there's just so many um, things that have, this has made life easier. And so that's why I wish for all people to have, you know, for as moms, just to, to make it so much easier. And like Emily said, a click and it's delivered to your door. Um, and it's not just oils, it's our toothpaste, it's our laundry soap, and it's all of the things that impact our immune system. So it's so remarkable that way. Okay, Gwendolyn, you're up next. Gwendolyn is at work, so she probably just needs to have the right time to jump in. Sorry, as I take my gloves off. Um, so hi, I'm Gwendolyn. I um, I started with Young Living last summer when I recently reconnected with Emily, who these two babies hit me. And what had stood out to me at first were was the thieves line. I grew up with an all natural cleaner that suddenly wasn't available in Canada anymore, and. It was one thing that I had never had to worry about before, but I didn't want to have just the cleaners in the store. I knew the kind of toxins that are in them. And Emily offered to text me some information about Young Living. And I had heard about thieves on Instagram. There was a foster mom that I followed that had showed me kind of some of the before and afters. She used it with the kids to clean up. And I already kind of knew a little bit about it. So I got the giant bottle and I just started kind of paying attention to stories. Emily's first major story that rung true with me was about Copa Ipa. The first two teeth that my little guy got, he got at four and a half months. And we were up nonstop. We were using Tylenol. I was 
a little bit uncomfortable with that because he was still really, really young. The dose is very small, but it took forever to kick in and it would stop working long before you could give him another dose. And I was constantly asking my husband's mother, who's a nurse, is it safe to give it to him a little bit early? Um, how do I deal with this? And Emily had mentioned that she used Copaiba and she got results really fast and no discomfort at all. So I was like, that is the next thing I have to try. And oh my goodness, it works within, within minutes. You can see the just relief, the relaxing total change with him. Um, the other thing we were using uh, for pains with him was groin pains and pan away in a roller was amazing for that. We just rolled it on his legs. I'm glad I learned about rollers because I started out putting a drop of the oil in my hand and then the carrier, and then you could get oil everywhere. And it was a mess in the middle of the night when he was crying, but rollers are a mom's best friend. <laughs> um, growing pains again, he reacts within, within five minutes. He's just got this relief and it's, so comforting that I know these are safe, that I know these work so quickly, that I know he's getting the relief he needs. Um, I'm, I don't know what I'd do if I had to go back to Tylenol nonstop. We had to use a little bit tonight just because he's been, he must be getting like teeth immediately because we've been using Copaiba for the last week and a half. And just tonight, he just, he calmed down and he relaxed. He just needed to open his eyes again and you're like oh you're just that little bit and he had a fever so. but the amount of times that I've reached for oils instead of reaching for what normally is in a medicine cupboard has been I don't know it's totally changed the way my thought process works around oils with kids um, he's also had a few bumps and bruises because little kid growing up uh, and I've got my husband somewhat starting to get into this mindset. He's very much Tylenol first medication because he grew up with a nurse for a mother. Um, but we had a win. My little guy was wandering around in the backyard and we have a piece of concrete just coming up to the steps. He tripped and he fell and he put his tooth through the inside of his lip. And because I'd been using Copaiba on his gums, my husband reached for Copaiba as the first thing that he he did, he put a little bit of Copaiba. It took kind of the inflammation away, the pain away. And by the time I got home, I had a, a bit of a sad little kid, took a hug, but it was totally worked. And I'm, I'm so amazed every time. Um, the other thing I was going to talk about is Ningxia. I, you've heard a little bit about it from the others, but I had an interesting story just this last month. I had a friend who gave birth and I've budgeted for Ningxia one ounce a day for the two bottles last me about two months. And I gave my bottle to my friend who had her baby because I know how amazing it is for energy, for focus, for mental clarity and the nutrient value and the antioxidant levels. I just, she needed it more. She was in postpartum, that's, you, you need it. And I went a month without. And I didn't realize the difference it was making until I went a month without. We should do a reverse Ningxia challenge for some people just so they see the effect that it has because my exhaustion, my mental clarity by the end of the, I usually have it in the morning and by the afternoon, I was just bogged down. I was exhausted. I had a little bit more emotional mood swings. Um, one thing I had noticed for postpartum is you lose a lot of hair. When I first did the Ningxia challenge, I stopped losing like handfuls. It wasn't like you put in the shower and you take handfuls out. Like there were five or six strands, I could count them. I started losing hair again <laughs> in this month without it. And that's, I think, the true testament when you, you can tell what it was. The only thing that changed was this. And here, here are the results. So I've got it back and I'm never gonna be without it again because I've, I've seen what it does to me and I've got that story to share to people now that it does make a difference. Um, the friend that had her baby I wanted to do an oily birth for her because this is the first kind of oily or the first person having a baby within this time frame of me knowing about oils. And her first was an emergency C-section and she really wanted to do um, a vaginal birth for this one. And it had been rushed with her first one. It had been 
anxious. She hadn't dilated at all. And she just wanted this one to be different. So the night before she was going to be induced, I went over to her house. I walked her through kind of all the things in that gentle baby's book. Cause I got a physical copy as well, but I didn't bring it with me because I'm at work. Um, walked through all the things. We had the labor blend, we had Clary Sage, we had Valor, which was huge. And I gave them the bottle of Ningxia at that point. And we just stayed up most of the night and put Clary Sage on her. And she could feel the contractions and they were, we were timing them. And she went into the hospital the next morning and they ended up doing a mechanical induction instead of a chemical induction because of how far along she'd sort of dilated a little bit, which hadn't happened at all with the first. And she got to about four to five centimeters before the, the medical staff had decided on a C-section for her, but it was still a really calm experience, completely different from her first birth. The Valor helped her and her partner who is prone to negativity, prone to panic, prone to thinking the worst. She just had a very calm environment and uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to be there because COVID rules changed in our area kind of the night before she went in and she was only allowed to have one person with her, but it was still a complete night and day for her, for the, the, the type of experience she had. And her partner had tools. I know you had mentioned with Griffin, someone has tools, so they have a purpose. They know what to do. They have things that they can offer, things they can try. And that gave him something to do. So he didn't feel as helpless. So he didn't kind of let his mind wander as much. And they've got a beautiful little baby boy. And I think that's all of my stories to do with babies. <laughs> There's oils that I use in my daily life all the time now. So I may not be thinking of all the ones to mention for you, but that's, that's a little bit of my story. Thank you, Anne, for inviting me to share. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing. I love all of those stories. And um, in our household, it's the other way around. Like Griffin was the one that really, oils were working for him first. And then it was me kind of second. And still sometimes he'll be like, have you oiled the kids? Like if, if something is happening, the kids are fussy and have you oiled them? I'm like, oh, right, yes. <laughs> so we have to help our partners out. <laughs> it works both ways. <laughs> um, so yes, it's so, so good. I loved your stories. Thank you so much for Gwendolyn for sharing. Does anyone else want to hop in with a story or addition or something that we maybe missed so far? Um, I'll go. I wasn't lucky enough to have oils when I had babies, but I have friends that have babies. <laughs> I've got two friends that have five kids and I've experienced with two different babies the same thing when they're fussing and crying I've thought well maybe possibly it's their stomach so I grab the bottle of digest just take the lid off and just have it near the baby's head so I didn't even put the oil on the baby and they slowly calm down and then I've also seen someone else do the same thing with peace and calming. And the baby went from just manic crying because his mom wasn't around to calming down, to quiet, to laughing, and then to sleep. So oils are, you know, like if I wouldn't have a baby without oils now because I've just seen the power. And even um, my friend Emma's little boy, the first time he smelt digice, which is the tummy one, he just like, he could barely hold his head up, but he was leading with his head toward, like he wanted to get closer and closer to the bottle. So it's just instinctive for them, like to go to the smells that are helping them. I just thought that was amazing to see a baby do that. That's so great, Trisha. Yes, exactly. And I think um, the other mama who still might pop on, I know she's during nighttime, but um, <clears throat> Digize was a huge, is a huge one for her because of heartburn through pregnancy. And then now um, for baby too, for um, calming kind of fussy tummy situation. So even as of last night, um, they were using Digize on, I think Sebastian's three months now. So yeah. Um, Digize is a huge one. Valor, Gwendolyn mentioned, that was huge for um, our birth. And that was, 
after thieves to kind of clean out the space. And again, this could be relative to a surgery or to anyone going into the hospital for anything. Val um, thieves to clean out the space in the diffuser and then valor to calm the situation can just change, be a game changer, like Emily said. Um, one thing that hasn't been mentioned that I used was in my late stage of pregnancy, I'd get those terrible calf muscle spasms in the night. And if I didn't put deep relief on before I went to bed, I would have them so bad that I would be crippled on the floor and like my husband couldn't stand me up and I'd be crawling. Like it was mad. It was so bad, 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 bad. But if I put deep relief on, I just left the bottle right by my bed. And if I put it on my calves before I went to bed, I would sleep soundly. So that one is like an unsung hero. <laughs> also the power, what Anne shared in the beginning of the medical professionals seeing the effects these products have on our state of mind is like so powerful that I, um, with my Daniel, it was actually my midwife who said like, I was getting, I was in a very um, hectic situation where I was being pressured to have a C-section by a couple of surgeons who he was um, breach and they thought something was going to be tragic if I tried to go natural. And I just was listening to my body, listening to my body. And, and I was panicked because they were saying you have, like we've were, there's all these surgeries waiting on you to hurry up and say, yes, so we can get you to the OR. And I just didn't feel good about that. And my midwife's like, where's your valor. And I couldn't believe like she'd seen me roll on so many times and I hadn't even thought of it. So she rolled it on me my water broke, like it all just kind of happened, right? It's like Valor's like pushing through and my water broke. They still wanted to get me to the OR. And she said, no, let's get you to your room. Now you can have a room. We'll get you to your room and we'll just give you five minutes. And the surgeon came to my room, saw the lights down low, the diffuser on, me being calm for the first time in hours and actually spoke on my behalf to the pediatrician who was in charge of the delivery at that point saying, I think she, you should let her do it in her room, come and see. And she came and saw this environment. And even though it's the, it's the rule playbook to do a breach delivery in the OR in case something goes wrong, she okayed me to do it in my room. And I got to have the delivery my way very quickly. So I was so grateful for that. And it was just the transformative effect of that on my mind. And like a calm mom is gonna be a safer delivery. And so that was really powerful. I think the next speaker's on, right? Yes, Chelsea, welcome. You did it. <laughs> you, you won the battle of, of bedtime. Good job. <laughs> um, Chelsea is a good friend of mine and um, has had two babies um, with oils. And so Chelsea is gonna share um, just some of her favorites, whether it's labor or, um, as a mama, what she uses, whatever you'd like, Chelsea, you go for it. Oh, okay. Um, hi, <laughs> sorry I'm late. <laughs> um, yeah, so labor, I had the labor blend and um, in my first, we used it quite a bit to the point I told my husband to stop using it because I felt like my contractions were getting way stronger and <laughs> too intense. And then through my haziness, I could hear one of the nurses saying that, um, it was too bad that my contractions weren't lasting longer. So I said to my husband, okay, get the labor blend back out. And then it got things going again. And she was born not too much longer after that. So labor blend definitely um, is a favorite. Um, I probably could have used it more in my second, but because my first was so fast, I was really concerned about my second being faster. <laughs> So I kind of held back on using it um, and I probably could have used it um, sooner and it might have kind of helped things speed along. Not that it was a really long, prolonged process, but just hindsight. Mm -hmm. um, Digize is another favorite. Um, I had a lot of like heartburn with my second and that helped a lot. Um, I'd make sure that I had that before bed. Um, like every night it was wonderful and um, peppermint is always a favorite too I got a couple of headaches after 
my second was born and peppermint was really helpful um just like the base of my skull and kind of temples um temples kind of worried me a couple of times just because like burping him if I had my head too close to him I didn't want to get it on him and like in his eyes but definitely on the back of my head was really good um and yeah tummy stuff for my little guy he's pretty gassy so um tummy jays I like um or the die jays I made a little roller ball that I could put on him too and that seems to really help um with that and I'm not sure if he's teething but he's definitely drooly and chewing on his fingers even though he's only three months old <laughs> so I made a little roller with um copaiba and a drop of lavender and just gonna kind of use that a little bit and see how that works for him so those are kind of my super favorite ones that I use that I'm reaching for the most often and then like thieves is always just like diffuser and just around the house and we had that going quite a bit before especially before Sebastian was born we were using a lot of thieves stuff just because I was like hubby needs to be able to come to the hospital so nobody's allowed to get sick <laughs> like he needs to be there so um yeah that that was that those are kind of my go-to ones the digest for sure and peppermint yeah and trying to think if there's anything else I didn't think it through enough <laughs> no, those but, are great ones and yeah um, lavender too as just so calming and Sophie loves it too she just likes to smell it makes her happy it's her net one of her nana's favorite smells so it, she always talks about that <laughs> oh that's nice I love when kids know to go for like the color like so yeah twins being two they know to go get the purple one they know yeah. that that's what they need for owies or if they're crying or if they're they need to calm down they just know to go get it nice <laughs> that's so awesome yeah yeah I've got a little roller for Sophie and with thieves or whatever for preschool and stuff. So she like she she likes to have control over it to put it on her feet and do it. She needs to do it all by herself. <laughs> I've done an immune stick in an old deodorant container. Um, yeah, so it's thieves and it's um, thieves frankincense, peppermint, lemon, tea tree, mm -hmm. and this is our immune booster. And that's what the kids they do it themselves so it's just because it's um coconut oil and beeswax it's kind of hard like a deodorant yeah and that's what they use on their feet because the roller is really tickly so they like this one yeah covers their whole foot perfect <laughs> okay we have a couple minutes left is there any questions out there any comments questions i just wanted to mention I had a win, a baby win, or a mommy win too, when I was out camping, and I've used it a lot, and I never had clogged ducts, because um, Emily had mentioned Ningxia, but I had a really bad one with my fourth baby, so five years ago, and I, my midwife said to put lavender on, so me not being with Young Living, I just grabbed any lavender from the store, and it eventually worked, but then, um, this time I got, I've had some severe actually duct clogs this time. So with my, I had, um, I actually went and got an ultrasound because it was so bad. And right before the ultrasound, I'm like, okay, I need to get rid of this because it was really amping up my anxiety and that it was the worst case scenario and it wasn't a clogged duct and all of this stuff. So I put frankincense on it every day over and over and over. And when I went in, the tech is like, there's nothing there. I don't even see a lump or I don't even, I can't even see like milk in it or anything. And so frankincense was the win for that one. And then this weekend or this past week, we went camping and I had another clogged duck because just the way I was lying and feeding the baby while I was in the trailer trying to sleep. And it was really bad and really painful. And it was like, oh my goodness, this is going to be mastitis if I don't deal with this really fast. And so I put frankincense and lavender. Luckily, I brought them camping. And within two days, it was gone. And so I was so shocked and thrilled <laughs> that lavender and frankincense could clear an almost like 
metastatic, or is that what the word is? <laughs> Clogged up. So anyway, I just thought I would share that. I know it was so amazing. It was, it is a game changer, like just the lavender and heat. And that was it. I didn't even use heat camping. It was just, just lavender and frankincense. So. Thank you for sharing that, Lindsay. So good. I had one more thing that I thought of that I didn't share before because um, I was breastfeeding as well. Um, fennel for um, lactating. We put, I put it in a roller and oh my goodness, <laughs> I'd used it once in the middle of the night in preparation for his nightly feeding. You can feel it. It works instantly <laughs> and it lasts for a while. The only thing I'd recommend is you definitely have to make sure you're drinking enough water like a healthy human being because you make enough milk. <laughs> yeah, fennel was so great for us um, for both pregnancies, all the kids, but the in the hospital I had it for the twins because, you know, just my comfort was so different. So I was comfortable to do it right away. And the recommendation is just to do it right after a feeding. So you're doing it right after on the glands or having like fennel tea. And then, um, and like you said, just amping your body up for the next feeding. And it, it helped us right away. It was great. So yeah, highly recommend that for any new mom. Well, thank you so much, so much for everyone sharing. Um, we have recorded this, so this is going to help so many families. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And just let us know if you have any questions or if you have um, other people that would be interested in hearing about this topic, or maybe it's um, next week we have three layers of wellness. So focusing on how um, Young Living is not just the oils and how it can really build a foundation of nutrition and uh, wellness in your family. And then the next week is hormones, which is great for anyone, any woman. Um, also Sunday nights, we have business calls at eight o'clock. So if anyone is interested in joining in to hear about kind of all the systems and, and um, kind of the how Young Living is doing right now and what we can offer as a team because our team is on fire. So I'm really excited about that. And if anyone wants to join in on Sunday night, it's at eight o'clock. Okay, thank you everyone for hopping on. Any last comments, Emily? Uh, no, I was just gonna mention our um, power hour that we get together Monday to Friday at 9.15, just for 30 minutes. So if you need more community and if you're not at work, we would love for you to join us. Yes, they are such a great start to the day. I just love starting my day um, with Power Hour. We do, sometimes it's a visualization or a meditation for a few minutes and then conversation. Um, we call it Power Hour, but it's actually only half an hour that we're chatting. The other half an hour is your power. It's your action, your activity. So it's only 9.15 to 9.45. It's so good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have a great night, everyone. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Thank you for sharing all the great stories. Thank you for being amazing mamas.